Hey guys, DV Tutorials here. Today we got a Sony Vegas tutorial. We'll be showing you how to do a text scroll effect in Sony Vegas. I've done this on a couple of my recent videos, gotten a lot of requests and comments about how I created the effect. So I'm gonna break it down, show you the effect, and break it down and show you how to create it. So basically what we have here is a text fade in and scroll. So basically what we have is two effects combined. We have text layers scrolling across the screen in opposite directions, fade in effects, and stuff like that. I used this in one of my recent videos. It's pretty effective, as you can see here creates a pretty neat effect across the top of the screen. So basically I'm going to be showing you how to create that effect today. I'm going to break it down and then I'll show you step by step how to do it. So basically we have three different text layers with different properties in each one. So the first one is text layer one. You open up the event pan and crop window in Sony Vegas. Basically the effects that we're going to be changing involve creating a keyframe at the beginning of the video and a keyframe at the end of the text video. And then we're going to be adjusting the X and Y coordinates here. So basically, for the first layer, we're going to have it scroll from right to left across the screen. So we're going to change X center on keyframe 1. We're going to change the X center to 200 and change the Y center to 810. And basically, I've broken down the Y coordinates based on a 1920 by 1080p frame. So you'd have your top layer would be at 810, your middle layer would be at 540, and the last layer, the third layer, would be at 270 for the Y coordinate. So then you'll go ahead and create a second keyframe. At the end here, you'll change the X center 2 to 1280. Y center will stay at 810. You'll close that out. You go to your second text layer. You go to the first keyframe. Change the X center to 2160. The Y center will be at 540. You'll go to your last keyframe for text layer 2. You get it to open here and you'll change this to about 170, 161, 170, and then your Y center will be 540. Close that out. Do the same thing for your third layer. Event pan, first keyframe, 200, 270, your last keyframe, 1280, 270, close it out, and that's what creates this effect of having text layer one and three go right to left across your screen like this, and text layer two will go left to right across the screen. Then I've also broken it down a little bit further. I've adjusted the speed of the videos, slowed them down slightly so that you have, you know, you have them going various speeds across the, the screen. I've also done fade in effect with varying fade ins to create that effect to having the layers come in to the screen and fade out at different times. So different things you can play around with. That's the essence of the, the video, um, the text layer effect. So what I'll also do here is clear all of this out, delete all of these tracks and then create a new video track, three new video tracks and then I'm going to show you the effect step by step so that you don't have any other issues or problems creating this effect. So you go ahead and create insert text media. You do layer one. And then what we're going to do is open up event pan crop. For your first keyframe we're going to change the X center to 200. Change the Y center to 810. Go to the end of the clip, double click, create a keyframe. Change the X center to 1280 and leave the Y center at 810. Let me show you what that does. So this will go from right to left across the top portion of the screen. Then we'll go ahead and create text layer two, insert text media. Layer two, close that out, event pan crop. Change this to 2160. Y will be 540. Let's create a keyframe. Make sure that's at the end of the clip. And then we'll change that to, bear with me, okay. Then we'll change this to 170, 540 for your Y, close that out. And then basically what that does is creates text layer two scrolling from left to right across the center portion of the screen. We'll create a third text track. Letter three, event pan crop. Do the same thing. Change this to 200. Change this to 270. Create a keyframe. 1280, 270. Close that out. And then what this does, you 
can see here, we got our three text layers scrolling in that manner across the screen. Then if you wanted to get fancy, you can adjust the fade ins. You could stagger the layers like this, have them fade in at different times. Then you can add your fades like that. Then if you wanted to, you can hold down control and then slide your video clip to the left to shorten it, to the right to lengthen it or slow it down. You can adjust the timings and you'll have them fading in at different times, going at different speeds and at different portions of the screen. So if you did something like that, they'll all be going about the same speed but fading in and out at different times. So something to think about there's a lot of different options you can play around with but this gives you the basics of how i created it i also upload the vegas project file for those of you who have vegas so that you can download it and work with the project files that i have to create the basic effect hope this is a helpful tutorial let me know if you have any questions